Hi guys, it's Lisa. Thank you for joining me today on my little channel. Um, I'm doing something a bit different today. I have got my Project Life album. I will do a proper flick through this one day, but um, I just thought, seeing as I haven't posted anything about this before, I will just give it a little bit of an introduction and then I'm going to go on to create a page today. So this album is purely pocket pages. I've got the washing machine running, by the way, in the next room, so apologies about that. Um, it's all about pocket pages. Each pocket is individual and you make a mini piece of art for each one. I've been doing mine since 2015. A lot of people you will see create theirs. It's very much a week one, week two, and so on basis. I decided not to go along that route and I just pick it up and do it as and when I want to. I knew if I had to stick to a weekly page, I would end up not doing it and I would abandon the whole project. I couldn't commit to that. Um, I would always then feel of having to catch up etc so I just dip in and out as and when I want to and for me this works better um, so basically I just run through as you can see they are all little pockets and um, just mini photos bit of information here and there and that's how I create mine so today I am going to be working on my next page and I am going to be using my Coco Daisy kit. I've got my pocket ready. It's a simple stories pocket and each one is a little pocket. They're top loading. I work my pages the same way each time. I have a couple of pieces of patterned paper here. These, like I said, are from my July Coco Daisy kit. Um, I've taken these. Um, I've got a simple stories and I've got um, this one here, American Crafts. I like to keep to a colour combo when I make these. I'm also going to be using some of my Coco Daisy journaling cards. I like to lay them out first, see what I've got, and then I start adding the bits and pieces, adding the photos, any memorabilia that I've got, and then on to embellishments and the journaling and all that kind of thing. I'd already had a thought about this page. These are the colours I'm going for. These are the papers that I'm going to use that I've already shown you as the background. First thing I tend to do is start by using my circle punch, which is here. I like to just simply round off the corners. I like the finish. I think it looks neat and tidy. And I do that with each one. All the corners are nicely rounded. I've been able to pop these two inside the pockets already. I'm not going to change those. And now I just need to, obviously some of these cards are much smaller than the pockets themselves. So I want to add the background paper. I will just measure up here. I will mark off in pencil so I know where to cut. And obviously they, they're gonna be the same size, top and bottom. So I can go away now and cut my card to size. The cards have been cut to size and I've rounded off the corners. I've decided which ones are going under which. I want them to contrast and stand out nicely. So now I just need to stick each card down onto, that's gone all sticky, onto the card behind. And I want to be able to see that nice colour underneath and then that's ready for me to add photos, journaling, journaling and embellishments. So I will continue through here and add each card. Everything is stuck down now so it's time for me to start decorating. I'm going to start off with calling this page this week. I haven't actually decided which week this is going to be yet. In fact, it probably won't even be a whole week. It will probably be a mixture of a few. Let's pop these down. I'm using these green puffy um, alphabet stickers from Fancy Pants. These came in the Day in the Life kit, most of which is what I'm using on this page from the July Coco Daisy collection. And I'm just going to pop those on there. They're nice and sticky so that makes it very easy and I've got a bit of a space there so let's utilize that and pop an arrow on. 
that's that sorted and then I just basically go around each little pocket adding bits and pieces I have some really nice glitter tape here um, also from the same kit I am going to add a little bit of sparkle let's find the end and literally pop that on that join I can trim both ends and then what I will also do is I like to continue with a the theme. I will use this tape on other pockets as well. As and when I come to decorating them, it could be to hold in a photo or something like that. It won't just be that one pocket where I use that. Um, I'm going to take this July here. Um, oh, I could have done with another one of those arrows, actually. That would have been quite handy. Um, I want to make reference to the fact that it's starting July. I've just seen this here. This says just begin. So let's use this here. These are the pink fresh chipboard stickers from the same kit. And I'm going to, because this is all before July happens. So how, where should we put that? Let's pop that at the top here making reference to July is about to start which is why I'm popping that there and I'm just going to add a few more bits and pieces now I'm moving on to this little card here called this summer I've stuck on this little die cut here um, it's a Coco Daisy exclusive and it just says my tribe I am going to use I um, got an extra this extra sheet as an add-on for my kit and I am going to use these mini stickers here these are simple stories to spell the word with and just pop that above here I need to move this down a little bit I've stuck this on with glue so thankfully that's worked okay and that gives me a bit more space there and I am spelling out the word with like I said and I'm just going to do a little bit of journaling underneath um, just to say what we've been doing so far this week I've decided to create this as more or less a weekly page anyway so I'm just going to journal on the bottom here I'm now walking, working on this little card I want to cover that up with the washi tape let's pop that across like that um, this is my son getting an award or two awards at school um, the other evening so that needs documenting let's pop that like that we're using the washi tape and on there and I was going to use this sticker which says good times let's pop that on there is there another one that can go yeah there's this rocks I think that is very appropriate on there and I can pop that one in there and I was going to do the journaling to go with that card so I need to find something to work with that oh I was going to put actually I'm going to I don't know that doesn't really go that would look better actually let's take this out let's use the wrong side of the heart I think the white stands out so much better and then I need to find something to do for my journaling there I think I will actually let's put this underneath because it's pointing towards him this makes my heart smile that's perfect and just actually do you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do my journaling on the lines going that way that's what I'm going to do I'm quite pleased with how that's come out that's come out really well now onto this next card I've cut a mini mini photo of the kids and that's just literally a one and a half by one and a half inch I've got a trim here from the Coco Daisy die cut I'm going to pop that on the top I am going to stick this tiny photo in the middle here and add this
this, which is you. Whoops, a daisy. You are my sunshine. That is going to go at the top there. Okay, and I was going to add something along the bottom with enjoy every minute. This was me taking the kids out. Actually, let's put that at the top there. You can enjoy every minute. And um, let's put, oh, actually, that one's perfect. We just want to have fun. Well, that's the sun, actually. No, let's do hello, summer. Let's pop that along the bottom there. And just breathe. That's a good one, actually, because we were taking a break. I was out treating the kids. So that one can go in there. I have another one here, um, Coke Float Day. I want to do something. I'm not sure what I want to do with that one yet. Again, this one would work out quite well. How about I pop on this? I still feel it needs something behind, but I haven't decided what wondering actually if it does yeah i think it needs a background let's use a bit oops a bit of the packaging oh that helps if you take it out of the pocket doesn't it let's pop that on there i think we're going to slowly build this one up let's pop that there i am going to use part of this like that that is oh that really doesn't want to stick does it that on there let's put that there and that there that's got a bit of it that okay I'm quite happy with that um, as we're having coke floats let's put the sticker on there and um, the other thing I was going to do actually is, let's have enjoy at the top. I was going to use a few more of these stickers actually in a bit, so I will continue with that in a moment and use up some of those. Um, want to work on this, I think I need a little bit of journaling on there. I need to, oh I'll tell you what I do need to do. Let's have down the side what that day is all about and that is Coke Float Day. I think I will use these pink stickers here and I will use that because I think that's going to stand out really nice. I'm now going to be working on this card here. I have a photo that was only taken last night. Holly had her year 12 prom last night. So let's pop this one on here. Um, let's. I'm going to use these alphabet stickers here from the Sunshine and Happiness collection and really make a feature of this. So let's do. Uh, let's do year 12 and then I'm going to spell out the word prom underneath on there. I think those colours stand out really well. Every single pocket is filled now. I will, before I start embellishing, I am going to go around with my journal pen and just outline a few bits and pieces so that they stand out better. One thing you do have to be really careful with when doing this is that you let the ink dry before you pop it back in the pocket. I've made that mistake too many times where you rush to go on to the next one, you slide it into the pocket and you smudge the black ink everywhere, which really isn't a good look. And it's always such a shame when you've put so much work into each piece. So let's do that. And then I will pop each one to one side. I've almost finished my page, I've outlined, I've finished a little bit of journaling and now I'm just going to go through and add a few embellishments um, that are just left over from the kit just to make 
the page look pretty and I always think it's the final few finishing touches that really make a difference. Um, I just like all the little bits and pieces added on my pages. It's really fun. It's also a nice way to use up your scraps as well, to be honest. So I will just see what I can find, see what I can add. I've already added a few bits. I've got some lovely stickers here. Um, for example, oh, there's an ice cream here. That could be quite good. Oh, the ice cream would have gone well there, yes. Because this page was always a all about having an ice cream I can actually slot this under here let's pop that like that I like that and I think I'm gonna need to go around this in pen as everything else has been outlined just so it matches I like the kind of flow of things, so that would need to dry. I'm just going to go round, and I've got some hearts and other bits and pieces and just see what looks nice where. This is my finished pocket page. I've kept the same colours running throughout, similar embellishments. Everything kind of flows. Um, I like having a balance and I'm really happy with this. A few photographs, a little bit of journaling, and the last few days have been um, kind of recorded. So there you go. Thank you so much for joining me today. See you soon. Bye.